we are constructing 400 markets across Kenya to provide Mamamboga with a dignified working environment, complete with water, electricity, and other amenities. And I want to thank members of this house for participating in various ways and working with us and also with the counties in identifying the right locations for these markets. Ladies and gentlemen, honorable members, our education system must develop a formidable reservoir of skill, talent, highly competitive and innovative human capital to support our vision of an economically transformed Kenya. Within weeks of taking office, I appointed the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform, led by Professor Rafael Munaf, my former teacher, who provided clarity on transition to the new competence-based curriculum and made further recommendations on necessary reforms in our education system from early childhood all the way to the tertiary levels. The Working Party concluded its work and submitted a report whose recommendations are already being implemented. The urgent and vexing question of transition to junior school has been settled. And the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment will be used for the exclusive purpose of monitoring learners' progress and not for placement in any grade. In keeping with our commitment, 56,750 new teachers have been employed. I'm sure the Honorable Milemba can confirm this. While 8,200 primary school teachers were retrained to equip them with capacity to effectively deliver learning and teaching at junior school levels. With changes to the entry requirements for teacher training colleges, admission has increased by 300% to now 20,456 trainees. I was privileged to be in Kwale last week to open the Kwale uh, uh, Teacher Training College, which had only um, uh, 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 less than 100 students a few, a few months ago. And when I went there, the principal told me that the numbers have increased four times. At the tertiary level, the Working Party recommended an overhaul of the existing education funding framework to a variable scholarship and loan model in order to address the financing gap which denied many Kenyans the opportunity to pursue the tertiary education in our universities and TVETs, but also created many complications in our universities and institutions of higher learning that by last year, our universities had accumulated debts of close to 60 billion Kenya shillings. I sat down with all the vice chancellors of our 41 public universities, and we came up with a proposal that we are now implementing. The new model for financial support is student-centered and deploys a rigorous, impartial means testing instrument to establish the level of need of every student, which then becomes the primary consideration in allocating scholarships and loans. To fully democratize our education system and make higher education accessible and affordable to all, we have also chartered the Open University of Kenya following requisite cabinet and parliamentary approvals. I want to thank this house for expediting the Open University Charter that had been in the works for the last 10 years. I also want to announce to you that the first 1,000 students will report next month. 